Pet owners in North Carolina and Georgia are warning others about toxins in lakes after their dogs died shortly after swimming. THV 11's Vanessa Page found out if there are any risks here from those who study our bodies of water. Vanessa? Craig, I spoke with a biologist with the Army Corps of Engineers in Little Rock. She says the blue-green algae that may have caused these dogs' death isn't here. However, people should be cautious because it has been in the past. If you're not sure, I wouldn't let allow my pets or animals or your kids to go into the water. Blue-green algae is raising concerns for pet owners. It can cause death and illness to people and animals if they take in the water. After pet owners in North Carolina and Georgia lost their pets after possibly being exposed to the toxin in lakes. <coughs> the Army Corps of Engineers say the algae is not in Arkansas now, but it was found in Lake Gillum last year as well as Lake Nimrod in 2014. We are still sampling at Gillum, even though there is not a bloom this year, um, but just to have a baseline information. A veterinarian says there's no way to know it's there unless it's tested. You really can't differentiate the good algae from the bad algae. Because the algae is so dangerous, the best option is prevention, which means not letting your pets near any standing water. Destroy their liver and it can destroy the nervous system and it can happen within 12 to 24 hours. Exposed animals may experience vomiting, diarrhea, difficulty breathing, and seizures. It's become a bigger concern. In recent years, there's been uh, a greater nutrient inputs in, in bodies of water. This, combined with extreme heat, is a perfect recipe for the algae. From runoffs, uh, storm water, and it accumulates in the water bodies. The Army Corps of Engineers says if you notice any standing water that looks very green and has a strong smell to give them a call, but it's important to know in some areas there are no visible signs.